What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Gold Mouth, coming at you guys with Fertilizer Friday. It's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday, yeah. It's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday, yeah. <laughs> today is Fertilizer Friday, and I just want you guys to know that today, if you're new to my channel, if you have not yet watched a Fertilizer Friday video that has come out on time, I don't even look. My internet or something was acting up that day and my Fertilizer Friday didn't come out on time, but I'm going to try to get these videos out every Friday. I will keep you guys posted on my Facebook page. If you guys do not follow me on Facebook, please go ahead and add me on Facebook. That way you can keep up. Like if I give you guys an update of when the Fertilizer Friday going to be out. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. Go my 100 underscore baby. Come on. I know I just deleted all my pictures off Instagram because I had went through, I was going through some mental things, y'all. Sometimes I snap, crack, or pop, and then psh, I'd be depressed, and then I just delete everything that happened in my life so I could, like, forget about it and start fresh. So that's what I kind of did with my Instagram. Do I miss it? No. Am I glad I did it? Yeah. Because I just, I don't even know why I did it. I just did it, y'all. I'm tired of looking at all of this. And I want to improve, I want to try to do better pictures for my Instagram so that's one of the things I'm trying to study how to make better pictures for my Instagram so you know all of that because my Instagram was kind of like depressing me you know all of the, the the memories of what I've been through and stuff like that when I go through my news feed and people go through liking old pictures and I'm like oh I don't like the cancel pictures <laughs> anyway y'all that was just me I was depressed that day and that's what happened so my Instagram, I got like six pictures up there now, but I'm coming back on, y'all. Don't unfollow me, because I am making a comeback. Let me get it right, and then we're going to be good, okay? All right, all right, all right. Anyways, y'all, I don't... Virgin Half Fertilizer Friday, so Fertilizer Friday for sure. Oh, I just put some on my chin, girl. So, I got a little bit of little corner left in this uh, jar here, y'all. Y'all know I depot my Virgin Half Fertilizer, and I put it in a jar cut the label off and put it in here so that way I can reach my hands into it. I don't know if it's enough to cover my whole head today, but if not, maybe I always got a backup plan. Okay? So, um, first and foremost, let me reintroduce myself. My name is Gold Madrid. I do make bunnets. I am a cancer patient and I make bunnets to sell to go um, towards the payments of my medical bills and all my co-pays and doctor visits and all of that. So, anyways, <laughs> um, this is the black and black and white zebra print uh satin bonnet with it's a reversible bonnet and it's pink underneath and you can wear it two ways it's like you're having two bonnets in one and the reason why y'all see a hump up here y'all already know i got my hair in a uh ponytail on this side this is a large size bonnet the benefits of a large size bonnet is that if you wear some weave like i do i like weave um not uh, i got a big ponytail over here i can cover it with my large size bunnet, okay, and won't have no problems with it coming off my head or, um, you know, because sometimes these bunnets be too small, like in the regular stores and stuff. I also make regular size bunnets as well for people who got shorter hair. So, anyways, y'all, oh, let me show you guys the other side. Let me show you guys the other side. Check out that hair, though. Check out that hair. Check out the hair, okay? Let me go ahead and do a 360 spin for y'all. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the opposite side of this bonnet. It is pink. I don't know how good the pink pan off on camera, but it is pink. And I can also have that pink on my head, too, if I want to wear pink that night or whatever, honey. Happy Valentine's Day, boo. Ooh, pink, yes. Yes, so I can have a pink bonnet if I want to. And it'll just... To your hair shape or whatever because you know it's just a bag or you know how to bag but it's just a bonnet so it's kind of you know it moves so if you got your hair up high or this way or that way the large size bonnet is good and it's gonna you know it's gonna adjust to to your surroundings you feel me so that is a a nice bonnet y'all i really like this bonnet Woo. yes i like all my bonnets but really like this one this one is nice so let me show y'all something real quick let me show y'all something real quick because i think y'all just need to see this y'all know y'all favorite walmart bonnet y'all favorite walmart bonnet is not really satin line like they say they's a lie because they satin and my satin looks totally different see how this don't got no shine real satin got a shine to it this satin is not satin they's a lie they've been lying to me for years y'all and let me show y'all my bonnet versus that 
we go, I'm going to do another video that compares my bonnet to your standard bonnet. Because this is the bonnet everybody wear at Walmart. Right along with this one. And usually they be black. But um, this one is in purple. First of all, my bed, this band don't stretch. Let me show y'all how this look on me. If I was to cover my hair. <laughs> it won't even go down all the way, y'all. <laughs> that's as far as it's going to go. Okay, because it's getting kind of tight. So, um... First of all, that's this bonnet here, and it's not go it's not even covering like my hair in the back and all of that good stuff. So I'm just showing you guys a quick comparison. So I ain't coming to hate on Walmart bonnets, but um, it is what it is. The proof is in the pudding. And my goodness, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and start greasing our greasing our scalps, y'all. Um, I hope you guys are paying attention to me real quick so oh if you want to order my, that bonnet go on my website goldencreations.webs.com and our link will always be in the description box below um if you order look now i found a post office that's open on saturdays you guys it's only open short, uh, short for a short amount of time so if you order your bonnets on friday um I can still send them off. You don't have to wait until Monday until I ship it because i did find a post office near me that is well it ain't near me I found a post office that's open on Saturdays, y'all. Okay, so um, you won't have to wait until Monday to get your order to get me to ship your order. Okay, so anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and start greasing our scalp, y'all. So um, I hope you guys got some kind of a moisturizer before if you're greasing your scalp today. Um, I use S Curl Spray. Normally, I forget every video. I forget to moisturize my hair, y'all. Um, so I'm just taking out my bobby pins. I be forgetting to moisturize my hair because I be so focused. I be talking too much, y'all. <laughs> For real, I be talking too much, and um, I be forgetting about my little my little scalp and everything. So I'm gonna take this ponytail out, and the reason why I'm taking this ponytail out so I can get to the nitty gritty, okay? The nitty gritty. I don't want to leave. I don't want to um grease like my head and then under this ponytail I neglect so I'm not going to neglect any of my hair so if you wearing a wig or a uh, you know y'all some of y'all with those um half wigs because I love half wigs man oh I love me some half wigs that's my favorite wig not no lace front not no uh, whatever them other wigs is I don't like them I hate them things with a passion Unless you slay it, baby, you got to slay that lace front to make me think it's your hair growing out your scalp and I can't see that lace, honey. Then I might like it. But other than that, I can't stand them things. And I can't slay them because if I could, I might wear one. But no, I've seen all the glue and stuff you got to do and to, to get them on. Mm -mm. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. So, uh, but they look good on some of y'all, though. Some of y'all. <laughs> If they undetectable, then they, they cute, okay? So, this is what my hair look like underneath this here ball. I mean, this here wig, y'all. Uh, oh, my braids. I ain't worried about my braids coming loose under here because it's covered. This is all covered. But this is what my hair looking like. So, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to use S-Curl Spray, which is what's in this bottle. S-Curl Spray mixed with water. The reason why I mix it with water is because I like to stretch my S-Curl Spray, honey. S-Curl Spray, you know, it, it it tends to go fast because I use it every single day. So, by me using it every day, shoot, I'm trying to save a dollar because I buy a big bottle, which is like $12 and some change. I'm finna show, I'm finna pause and show y'all my big bottle. Okay, y'all, I got my big bottle of S-Curl Spray. This is, where I get, um, this is what I got. I get it from Sally's. SallyBeauty.com, and I probably got about... I wonder how much I got in there. I can't see in there. Let me see. I ain't got that much more left, child. Ooh, I'm about at the bottom, child. I about got that much more left in there, y'all. So it's about time for me to get me a nut. And they $12 and some change at Sally's. But this bottle lasts you a long time, especially if you mix it with water when you put it in your in your bottle. So that's what I do. I kind of make one of these into two, for real. That's, that's how mine be, because I fill it up halfway, then I fill it up the rest of the half. But this one right here, this morning, I just put some more in here. So I only put, like, that much S-Curl spray. And I put the rest of it with water. And then you got to kind of turn it. Don't shake it up like, you know, shake it. Just toss and turn it a little bit. And then it mixes. And it stays mixed because it's curl spray is mostly water anyway. It don't settle. It don't end up settling back down to the bottom or nothing. It stays mixed just like you mix it the very first time. So you don't have to keep shaking it up every time you do it. Anyways, girl, I got this little, this little bit of grease here left. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start greasing my scalp. I hope there's enough grease 
to go on my whole head. If not, then I, you know, I got to depart another one because that's the last one. And I look, y'all, I was debating whether I should um use my um applicator. I don't know because I ain't want to mess up my hair. I'm trying to let it be cute at least for two weeks out of the fall. I'm going to have it. Two weeks out of the fall. And guess what, y'all? In real time, I know I just posted the video today that I got my hair done, but I really didn't get it done today. I got it done. It's been done for like three days now. Yeah, it's been done for like three days. Because in real time, I can't get the video. Some videos, I can't get them to upload on the same day. Because I be recording so much different stuff. And, and I only got one computer, y'all. I'm going to need another computer. I need to... Um, because I got two channels now. So I'm trying to upload the Mukbang channel. And on this channel as well. So if y'all don't follow me on my uh, Mukbang channel, Go Mouth Eats. Please go follow me. Um, go subscribe to me on that channel, y'all. Um, y'all, when y'all greasing y'all scalps, uh, make sure you rub it in there. And this is why. Let me tell y'all something. Make sure you rub it in there. Get it massaged in there real good so it can, you know, penetrate. But let me tell you why I'm, I chose to get braids. Um, because my scalp is exposed. You see how much scalp you see there? That's why I chose to get updos for, um, my protective style. And so I can have a lot of parts, you know. Because sometimes if you just do a bun updo, your bun ain't, it's just all your hair. You got to take that out and go through all your hair. And that's just too much, girl. That's too much. So I'd rather have it braided. That way I ain't got to part it. It's already parted for me. So I just go through. Some of these things, y'all, I might go through twice because I'm talking and running my mind. But it's all good. It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna harm it at all. Um... Yeah, y'all. So when y'all greasing y'all scalp, I hope y'all greasing y'all scalp. Y'all greasing? Is you really greasing your scalp for real? Like for real, for real? Um. Oh my God! I just was telling y'all about the S curl spray, and I still didn't use it. Listen, before you grease your scalp, moisturize your hair, okay? Because this it's just kind of like the lock method. Um, liquid, then cream, then oil. But I just do the LG method: liquid, then grease, okay? <laughs> That's the only one I'm using the virgin half fertilizer. I forget. I forget this every time, y'all. Every time. Because I be talking too much. I said I said it. Nah. Got my hair moisturized. So, um, my virgin hair fertilizer plays as a sealant. So, it seals in this extra moisture that I'm putting in it. Um, that's what, that's what, that's my theory, okay? I try to do it every time. When I be on camera, I be just talking and running my mouth, child. Look, I don't even know which braid I done did or didn't done did. But, I'm going to go here. And I just keep my fingers and I follow through and try to get all the way up to the top of this here ponytail here, y'all. Um, so, yeah, y'all, how y'all been doing today? Uh, today's Friday, y'all. Oh, my gosh, like... <laughs> How y'all people that got jobs and employed on on a, on a job job? How y'all doing out there today? How did y'all work day go? Did y'all have a good work day or no? Nah? Because I know it's Friday and people at people clock out on Friday. The people who don't work on sad. It's okay, y'all know y'all like happy. Cause um the people who work on sad is now. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I got to go to work tomorrow, but um. I will be, uh, I will do, make sure you stay tuned to my channel because I'll be uploading another video tomorrow while y'all at work probably. So, make sure you got me on your notifications, okay? So, um, oh my God, look, I be getting lost in the sauce with these parts. Though I try to keep my fingers in there and, um, grease the part that I'm on so I won't, so I won't lose it, y'all. It's like going down a railroad track, you feel me? That's what the part feel like, even though I never went down a railroad track. What I'm talking about, child? Anyway, <laughs> going to walking down the street. That's what it is. Walking down the street. So, okay, let me show y'all what I'm doing. I'm just keeping this finger is a guide. This finger is at the guidance office, okay? And then I just help spread it out with the other finger. I help this spray is a guide and I also uh, massages it in. Y'all see me? Yeah, okay, y'all see me. And I just, look, and I got lost again. That's the wrong one. <laughs> oh my God. So, yeah. So I'm just going to take it on up in there as good as I can, y'all. I, I try to stay on my same railroad track, okay? And uh, I just keep going. Yeah, people been telling me my hair was cute and I've been so happy about that. I've been feeling cute, y'all, okay? 
So I'm glad to feel cute again because this, this winter time, man, this winter time keep you covered up and looking ugly, okay? Well, me, because I don't like to go outside because I'm allergic to cold weather. So this winter time is something serious, girl. Something serious. And I don't got time for no cold. And it's it's a little bit colder today than it was yesterday. Yesterday it was kind of hot. I went out the door this morning when school went to the um, bus stop. It was kind of cold outside, and I'm like, uh-uh, oh, oh, please go back where you came from, cold, because I am I want to go out the door and walk around and wear my shorts, okay? I like wearing shorts. I'm tired of wearing these pants and all of this. I'm just like, oh, because I'm always wearing sweatsuits and stuff, child. Let me live, sunshine. Come on back. Come on back. Baby, come back. Woo. Yes, um, so, I, I'm, I, don't think, I think I don't grease everything back there, y'all. I think I feel better when I'm turning this way and I'm greasing it versus turning around because I feel like I'm talking to y'all behind my back or whatever or something. I'm talking talking to y'all behind my back, child. That's how I like. I'm crazy. But yeah, um, I'm going to go up here and grease this part. Oh, this is the hard part right here because these braids kind of, these little parts kind of small. I can't wait till this soak in because... I don't want my hair to look a mess, y'all, but I want my hair to grow, but I still want it to look cute while it grows. So hopefully, um, all this, well, it's going to soak in. I just want it to soak in like the day, the day, okay? Uh-oh, we back. I got that much left, y'all. I'm almost at the end. I'm going to have to depart one, um, de departing a version half fertilizer later on, okay? Uh, I don't know if I should take this ponytail loose or not, y'all. I don't know. Make sure, should I take this ponytail loose? Yeah, I might. I might since I didn't put no virgin hair fertilizer under it to begin with. I really did not. I didn't put none under it to begin with. So, yeah, I'm going to take this ponytail loose. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it on loose. Or I'm going to take this off so I can reach up under there. Because, I listen, y'all. Um... Somebody had said that they put virgin hair fertilizer on their hair. It's not for your hair. It's for your scalp, okay? End of story. End of story. It's for your scalp. So, I'm going to take this ponytail loose real quick. Oh, that feels so good. Thank you, Jesus. Just so I can get my finger underneath where that ponytail sit. So I can get it in there. Cause it got to grow there too, honey. I don't need no spot that, that look different than the next because I didn't. I missed the spot and all of that stuff, child. I'm trying to get it in. Uh oh. Trying to get it in there. Ooh. -hoo. You know how you, when you first get some um, new braids, y'all. And these braids ain't new, but they, they new. Well, they they new enough, honey. That's how my head. You it feel a little tender. That's how my head feeling, y'all. So I'm gonna just wrap this. Let me see. Twist this back up because this was twisted, I believe. Yeah, twist this back up and put my ponytail back in there. I'm going to plait this like I'm going to plait this up and wrap it back around and put my ponytail back in it. Yes, put my ponytail back in. Tuck those ends away. I got my hair all virgin, half fertilized, and greased up, y'all. I'm going to turn back around and let y'all see what I'm working with. I don't know what it looked like. Y'all get the first look. So, <clears throat> I am going to put my ponytail right on back on, y'all. Like ain't nothing ever happened. This ponytail right here is a little dry looking. So, I'm going to spray some... Some some sun on it. Get a little. They need a little TLC, okay? They need a little. T I like it now. I like it because it looks wild and crazy. But it need a little TLC, a little dry looking. Um. But even though this ponytail, I looked at these ponytails on Amazon, which is not where I got it from. I got this from at my beauty supply store here in town. And but this ponytail was like the worst one on that. On, out of these ponytails, I didn't know the pineapple had different ponytails that was a pineapple okay this one is called sweetie and the other one's called something else child they got different ones because they got something that look like candy curls and they got something that look like some other kind of curls but i think it's like three different ones but this one that i have was the first reviewed one on amazon it had like one star <laughs> i'm like what i didn't look at it on amazon before i bought it i just bought it at the house store and i was like okay i'm gonna um get that one and this is what i ended up with 
But I actually do like it. I do like it. Y'all can see, like, it's not no curls, curls, but it's it's good. I push this comb in there. Whenever you're pushing combs and bobby pins in your hair, make sure you don't push, put them or rest them against your scalp. Because if you do, ooh, you might regret it because your scalp going to be extra so. Like, especially if you got new braids like I got right now. Child. It's already be got, it already got um tension on it, you know. And so it's going to be like extra tension if you do that. So make sure you don't put the pins and stuff on your scalp. Oh, my hair is tingling, lingling, honey. I'm just going to go ahead and put these bobby pins up in there, y'all. These some extra long bobby pins, too. See that? They, remember that day I made a video said I was looking for curved bobby pins? There you go. Bam. The only bobby pins I like. I, I stopped liking the other bobby pins because they, mm -mm. these right here do me plenty of justice. It's long. It can attach to this ponytail from this side all the way to the other side, honey. And that ponytail is not coming off. It ain't coming off. I don't know. No, nah, it ain't coming off. <laughs> So I just stick it. I find the edge of the ponytail, you know, the thing with the ponytail made on, and I just stick it through there and stick it through my hair. And if and if at any time I feel the bobby pin touch my scalp, honey, I pull it back out and push it back in. Take it off your scalp, honey, because if you just put it in there and be like, oh, it'll loosen up later. No, it won't. It will not. It's a bobby pin. It's going to stay where you put it at. It's, yeah. It, that's what it's gonna do. <laughs> it's not gonna loosen up later unless you loosen it up yourself. I just this hair is bobby pin all the way through, and then you just kind of fuzz this hair over to camouflage all of that stuff. Yeah, all of that. So now my hair is done for virgin hair with my virgin hair fertilizer for fertilizer Fridays, y'all. It is done. Y'all see that? And look, and my braids ain't messed up neither. So, and when you done putting your virgin hair fertilizer and your, your S-curl spray on your hair, what you need to do next, y'all already know what you need to do. What you need to do? You'll put your bunny on, okay? So you won't be getting grease all over your mama and them chairs and stuff, girl. Put your bunny on, okay? Okay, so are we done with Fertilizer Fridays? And I hope you guys grease y'all scalp with me for a better hair growth. And I hope y'all guys got y'all nice protective style. Make sure you moisturize your hair before you put the grease on. I mean, you don't have to, but I'm just saying it's the moisturizer is for your hair. The fertilizer is for your scalp. So, you know, okay. Anyways, y'all, thank y'all so much for um watching. And that's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.